Today I'm going to tell you everything you need to know about Savannah weather. The Savannah weather month by month. Welcome back. I am sitting out here on my beautifully redecorated screened porch. I gotta give a big shout out to my husband that tiled the cement floor. I love how it turned out. We picked out a porcelain tile that was suitable for outdoor use that kind of looked like barn wood. And even though we were laying tile when it was 100 degrees out, which was beyond miserable, it turned out great in the end. I feel that having a screened porch when you live in the Savannah area is pretty imperative if you want to enjoy the outdoors as much of the year as you possibly can. Let's face it, it gets extremely hot here in the summertime. So with our screen porch, we put in some blinds that will reflect the sun back out. I can still see out, but when I'm outside, I can't see in. So it's nice for privacy if you wanna sit outside in your pajamas in the morning drinking a cup of coffee. And it really blocks the heat of the sun. It keeps it so much shadier and cooler inside and between the lines and having a ceiling fan, I feel like the temperature in our screen porch is probably 10 degrees lower than what it normally would be. So if you like to spend time outdoors, you should definitely look for a house that has a screened porch or at least has a covered patio because you can always screen in a patio. If it's got the little cover with posts on the four sides, you can always screen that in as a DIY project at a later time. So let's go over Savannah weather month by month. In January and February, those are probably the coldest months of the year. It's usually in the 40s and 50s during the day. Overnight, it can get pretty chilly. It doesn't often get down into the 20s. Usually it's in the 30s overnight, but that's cold. That like anywhere you live, that's cold overnight you will probably have to go out and cover your lemon trees or put something around the root balls of your trees when it gets that cold overnight just to make sure that they don't get they don't get killed by a hard freeze then in march it starts getting beautiful march april and may are lovely months the only downside is that's pollen season and if you have any pine trees on your property, the pine trees drop yellow pollen for about six to eight weeks. And it is relentless. <laughs> you have to go outside and spray off your patio, sweep off your patio, dust your screen porch, cover your furniture. That yellow pollen gets everywhere. So it's a bit of a bit of a chore to get rid of the pollen. Once pollen season is over, now we get into the warmer months. We've got June, July, August that are very hot and they are humid. We live in a subtropical climate. So the majority of people go from their house to their car, to their office, all that hopefully have air conditioning. And then when they come home, they spend all their time either at the pool or the beach or inside the air conditioning. Now, again, if you have a covered screened porch with a little bit of shade, I'm still not sitting out here at three in the afternoon. It's pretty darn hot, but in the morning and the evenings, it's lovely. Now we get to one of my favorite times of year, which is fall. September, October, November in Savannah are fabulous. It's still warm, but it's not blazingly hot. It's not as humid and it's not yet cold. We have had many Thanksgiving meals outside on our back porch. Our very first Thanksgiving in Savannah, we did low country boil instead of a turkey and we did it outside. We all sat outside in sleeveless shirts and shorts and had low country boil, which is awesome. And if you've never had low country boil, you are missing out. I have to do a video about low country boil. Remind me, gotta do a video about low country boil. So the weather in Savannah is gorgeous eight months of the year. Two months of the year it's winter, so it is cold. We don't often get snow. We've had freak snowfalls before, but that's not common. And two months of the year it's blazingly hot. However, if you're a hot weather person, you're gonna love it. And because you're so close to the ocean, you can go to the beach. And so many neighborhoods in Savannah have community pools that you're able to deal with the excessive heat two months of the year. Two months goes by really fast. The word, 
There's my husband. My husband just came home. Hi! You just photobombed my video. <laughs> So now you know what the weather in Savannah is like and what you could expect. If you are thinking of visiting, I highly recommend fall or spring. If you're thinking about moving here, I really suggest that you come in the winter or the summer. Those are the two extremes. You'll be able to see what you're dealing with and if you can tolerate those two extremes, then you'll be smooth sailing the rest of the year. If you are looking for a house in Savannah and you want a house that has a screen porch, click this link right here. I did a search on my website for every house for sale that has a screen porch and you'll be able to see that list right away without having to log in. I'm Karen Carr. I'm a realtor in Savannah, Georgia with Keller Williams Coastal Area Partners. And if you are interested in all things Savannah related, you need to go ahead and click that subscribe button. Thanks so much. See you next week.